I want you to notice, secondly, um, Joseph's perseverance in his work. And um, how long did uh, Joseph work for Potiphar? The answer to that question is 11 years. 11 years. And we know that because Joseph was 17 years old when he was sold as a slave. We get that beginning of chapter 37. As we'll spot in chapter 41 later, he was 30 when he was promoted by Pharaoh and became the prime minister. And between these two things, he also spent two years in prison. And we'll come to that story a little later. So 17 from 30 gives you 13 minus 2 gives you 11. 11 years in Potiphar's house. Now, some folks, and this may be true especially when we're younger, some folks have the idea that success should come quickly. And this story shows us a better way. Always remember that sudden success is fraught with spiritual danger. Sudden success is the most fertile of ground for pride, presumption, and ambition. Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones used to say, he was a very shrewd counselor, he used to say the worst thing that can happen to a man is for him to succeed before he is ready. That's true for a woman as well. The worst thing that can happen to a man or to a woman is to succeed before they are ready. Why? Because that becomes the most fertile ground for the most disastrous of sins. So, God knows when you are ready to be trusted with more. And always remember that trust in this world is earned, and it is earned over time. Nobody has a right to be trusted. You earn trust, the trust of others, by proving faithful over time. It's very interesting, isn't it? Right from the beginning of the section that we've read here today, Um, Joseph has the favor of God. He has the favor of God long before he has the favor of Potiphar. Why? Because the favor of God you don't turn. The favor of God is a gift of grace that flows to you in Jesus Christ. That's why it says in verse 2, God was with Joseph. The love of God was upon him. The grace of God was upon him. You don't turn that. That's given. But in this world, in our relationships with others, you see, Joseph won the favor of uh, Potiphar. Uh, That's what you have in verse 4. And how did he win the favor of Potiphar? He won it by his loyalty, by the quality of his work, and he won it over time. So, Joseph found favor with Potiphar, verse 4, and in his sight, and uh, attended uh, to him. So, this this growing trust that he earned over time was throughout this period of 11 years the reason behind his continued advancement and promotion. Now, here's the principle, and it's straight out of the Scriptures and straight out of the words of the Lord Jesus. Remember, Jesus told this parable about the master and the servants, and they're given various responsibilities. And at the end, in the final scene, he says to those who have done well, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over little. I will set you over much. You want God to trust you with much. Learn to be faithful over little. That's the principle. You've been faithful in what I gave to you already. And because you've been faithful in what I've given to you already, I am now trusting you with more. That is what the Master is saying. Now, this is of huge importance with regards to uh, our whole attitudes towards the work that God has given us to do right now. It is so easy 
to live in a world that's always about what you want to do in the future. What are you going to do? No, no. What has God given you to do now? Don't waste your life spending half your time thinking about the next thing. Remember, my pastor used to put it this way, Colin, the best place to flourish is where God sets you down. Isn't that a good? That's really, really helpful. Don't your mind on everything else that you might possibly do in this life. The best place for you to flourish is where God sets you down. And there are no perfect places. There is only the place where God has set you down and given you work to do right. So, what has God given you to do now? Whatever it is, like Joseph, do it with all your heart. And remember this, faithful in little, trusted with much. Whatever opportunities and doors God may open for you in the future, they will in large measure be, be shaped by your faithfulness in regards to what He has given you to do now. Years ago, I remember hearing Warren Wearsby saying this at a conference in England. It always stuck with me. Always do your best work, he said. You never know who will be measuring you for a larger task. 